There are numerous cases of alleged time slips and dimensional travel, but some are more mysterious than others. Some of the most famous cases still have experts baffled and continue to intrigue researchers to this day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these three mysterious cases of time travel. Carol Chase McKelney In 2006, Carol Chase McKelney was driving to her home in San Bernardino, California, but had decided to stop off and visit her hometown of Riverside. Carol was left confused when she arrived. The location was right. After all, it was the place where she had spent a lot of time, so she knew it well. But having arrived at the right geographical location, the area was far from how she remembered it. She was unable to locate her childhood home, and the homes of her other family members that she knew so well. The numbers of the houses were still correct, but the numbers she had remembered were now non-existent. In fact, none of the houses in the area looked familiar to her. She decided to go check on the cemetery, where she knew her grandparents were buried, but when she got there, Carol couldn't find their graves. All that remained was a plot of fenced-off overgrown weeds. Carol was confused. Was she really in the right town? She decided to explore some more, and she came across some landmarks that were familiar to her. The local college and middle school were still standing, just as she had remembered them. Carol pulled onto University Avenue, a place that was normally busy with people going out to restaurants, hotels, and other shops, but she found it to be an unkempt, graffiti-covered place, and something about the people there scared her. The residents were not acting normal, they had a sinister way about them, and she didn't feel safe enough to get out of her car. She soon decided to leave her hometown of Riverside and return to Paris. Carol was adamant she had stumbled into a parallel dimension, a dimension which her hometown was a creepier version than the one she was so familiar with. It was an event that shook her up, and one that left her completely confused as to what had happened that day. She would return to Riverside just a few years later to attend the funeral of her father. He was to be buried in the same cemetery as her grandparents. When she arrived, she found herself in the town she knew and loved. She only encountered the riverside of her believed parallel dimension once. Carol's experience has now become one of the most famous cases of dimensional travel. Her story continues to baffle researchers. Lorena Garcia Lorena Garcia was a well-educated 41-year-old woman. On what seemed to be another normal day in July 2008, Lorena woke up just like any other. As she went about her normal daily routine, she seemed to notice small details that were out of place. She became increasingly aware that something wasn't quite right. She could remember the sheets and pajamas that she went to bed in, but the ones she woke up in were different. She put these details down to confusion and continued to go about her daily routine. She got in her car and drove to the place where she worked. She knew the drive well, as part of her daily routine for the past 20 years. She eventually arrived at the place she had worked at for so long. Upon arriving, her confusion got the better of her once again. She walked to the department where she worked, only to find that it was no longer there. The location was the same, but the department wasn't. There was a different name tag on the door of the office she had worked from, and to make things appear stranger, she met her boss. But this boss was someone she could never recall meeting before. She decided to check the personal information on her credit cards, driver's license, and work ID. These all seemed to confirm what she thought. They showed the same name, same picture, same numbers, and same home address. Confused as to what was going on, Lorena decided it was best to take a sick day and head home. When she arrived, she found the man with whom she had separated six months ago was in her house. He was acting strange, like the separation had never happened, and like the two were still together. The person she had been in a relationship with for the past four months was nowhere to be seen. She hired a private detective, eager to know where he had gone, but his whereabouts remained a mystery. No trace of him or his family could be identified, and there was no sign of him at the place where Lorena knew he lived. 
Lorena Garcia's case is another of the most famous examples of alleged travel to an alternate dimension. Lorena, however, was unable to travel back to the previous dimension. She believed she woke up here and is unable to go back to her previous life. Though some skeptics believe her experiences are due to a neurological malfunction, Lorena firmly believes she has traveled to another dimension of existence. The Four Girls and the Canyon Four girls had spent their Saturday at a rodeo in Pioche in May 1972. With the rodeo over, the girls began their journey back to Southern Utah University. Their route home would see them cross the desolate Utah Nevada state line at approximately 10 p.m. It was here that they came across a peculiar fork in the highway. They decided to take the left turning and head through Gadianton Canyon. As they were driving, they suddenly noticed the black asphalt turned to white cement. The girls thought they must have taken a wrong turning and decided to turn around and head back toward the fork in the highway. As they were heading back, however, they noticed a landscape that they were sure they hadn't passed on the way. They were now driving past grain fields and ponderosa lines. The desert they had been driving through previously had vanished. Confused, the girls decided to ask for help. They came across a roadside tavern and thought it was best to ask a local for directions. This plan was quickly abandoned after one of the girls began screaming hysterically. The girls claimed they had seen four egg-shaped vehicles mounted on tricycle wheels with bright lights on top, chasing after them. They hit the road, fast and scared, and the white cement suddenly turned back to the normal black asphalt they had remembered from the desert. They had returned to the desert that they were familiar with, but in the mass confusion, they found themselves wrecking the car in a creek, leaving them with three flat tires and with no means of getting help. The four girls decided to wait it out until morning before taking a hike to Highway 56, where they had managed to flag down a state trooper. They told the trooper how they had ended up where they had, but the trooper was obviously skeptical and found the whole story to be bizarre. However, their story became even more mysterious when he used the tire tracks from the Chevrolet that the girls had been driving had ended suddenly over 200 meters into the desert. How the girls ended up over three kilometers north of the highway with no evidence of their journey was baffling. The girls believe they had traveled to another dimension, and just like the others, their story has become one of the most famous cases of dimensional travel. This is probably the most baffling of the cases mentioned, as there were four witnesses to the same event. While these events are three of the most popular, there are many more cases of people who claim to have experienced a similar sort of thing. But what do you make of these time travel cases? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.